Should I start Jerry Judy or Mike Evans? <laughs> Let's pull it up. Let's pull up the wide receiver rankings and talk about some of the matchups here. Jerry Judy against Arizona. That's a pretty positive matchup. We see Arizona really struggling, but we also don't know. We do not know if Russell Wilson is going to be available, right? That's going to be the concern. The the Denver Broncos have expressed a lot of hesitancy to say that he's going to pass through the concussion protocol. So let's look back on week seven. And I'm trying to remember if Jerry Judy was available during week seven. In week seven, Jerry Judy. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So <laughs> Brett Rippon was the quarterback week seven. Jerry Judy, seven for 96, 11 targets. He finished as the wide receiver, 19, 13 fantasy points. He didn't get the touchdown, but he was a solid wide receiver too. And if it's Brett Rippon, we know what we're going to get from Jerry Judy. We're going to get a back end wide receiver too. And look, I missed on Jerry Judy last week. I said he was a back end wide receiver two, high end wide receiver three. And most people had him that spot. Kudos to those who moved him up or started him. If you like my content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. But Jerry Judy, I was on the fence on. At least I knew he was going to play over Jamison Williams, right? But I am starting Jerry Judy over Mike Evans for this week. Judy gets the Arizona Knolls. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as I mentioned, get the Cincinnati Bengals, whose secondary gives up the fifth fewest fantasy points to the wide receiver position on the seat. Evans has fallen on the wrong side of variance over the last few games. He's dropped a bunch of touchdowns. Brady has missed him in the end zone. So it's been it's been tough sledding for Mike Evans. So I would go Jerry Judy over Mike Evans.